Let's have a look at our logistic regression example task over here. So we have given a few features for our examples, one, two, and three. And we are also given our initial weights that we want to start with. And our first task is to calculate our probabilities that we predict or we, we are successfully able to predict class one. For our given example, I will choose the first one over here. If we take our given weights. And what this means in our um, yeah, logistic regression model is that we simply take our yeah, y of x, if you want, and this is the sigmoid function of w t x. So in the first case, what we get there is simply um, sigmoid of our um, vectors. So wt means that we have um, yeah, a row vector lying flat. Let me choose the square bracket, bracket notation here. And yeah, I just now copy those values over here. So it's 0 0.21, 1 1.58, and so on. Let me simply shorten that a bit. And this gets multiplied by our x. And x is actually a column vector because it's not transposed. But in the solution, you might actually see that in such a format as a row vector, which is then transposed again into a column vector. And yeah, let me copy the first values. It's um, It's uh, three, two, one, three, two, one, and so on. But mind this one over here. This one is actually our x zero, which is our bias component. So um, yeah, remember that in the end, in the end, we want to get um, a multiplication or some product. So we multiply. this value and that value plus this value and that value and so on. But yeah, remember that we have this w0 and our x0 and those form a pair as well. So out of those six features, x1 to x6, we actually get seven because we have to include that one. And this also means that our w has the length seven. So let me continue here, this times that, plus this times that, and so on. And then we plug this into our calculator and um, apply this sigmoid function here. So one divided by one plus e to the power of minus, and then this, product sum over here, which should be something 3.1352. And then we get 0 0.9583. So this means that um, yeah, we would expect a probability of our um, yeah, first example to be positive of 95% or 96% roughly. And now the question is, what is then the probability of it being attributed to the negative class? Well, it's simply, if you, if you recall what we know about probabilities, it's simply um, one minus this probability over here because it's the opposite. But we could also argue with our um, yeah, properties of our sigma function there. And um, yeah, let me simply fill this in. Uh, 
we already know this over here. This is this 96%. So what we get is 0 0.0417.